Wouldn't you like to benefit when stocks go down as well as when stocks go up? Well, to know how to do this, I would suggest that you attend the Jamaica Stock Exchange course, which is going to be given in September. I'm going to be the facilitator for that course. Please don't miss out. You'll learn how you can make money when stocks go down. Institutions can save money as well, because once you understand this issue of price discovery, you'll realize that transactions will be cheaper and price discovery will be there. Hello, everybody, and surprise! Yes, we have another bonus video for you this week, and this is something that we've all been waiting for patiently or impatiently short selling but first let me shout out everybody who is joining us live this evening you guys are the best i swear you guys be waiting on the show for like half an hour before we even start so let me big up people who are here early uh let me see who do we have who do we have online moses says trini in the house let's get this money wow so trini was the first person to log in or at least to comment on the program this evening richardo ramson greetings i haven't been here in a while work has the better of me looking forward to the show mabe in the house natalie says i'm here uh, listening all the way from virginia and we also have quite a few people john ross in st mary kish in london levar in mandeville Maria Gay in St. Anne and Strong Link saying, hello, investors, Medea, the land boat short selling. And well, you're in the right place because that's exactly what we are talking about today. Before the Jamaica Stock Exchange launches short selling, though, they need to sensitize the market, of course. And so they're going to be having a workshop tomorrow, that's Thursday, to break down the ins and outs of it. So here to tell us more is Group Business Development Manager at the JSC, Andre Gooden, and Vice President of Investments at NCB Capital Markets, Stacey Ann Tate. Hi, Andre. Hi, Stacey Ann. Hello, Kalila. How are you? Hi, Stacey. I'm great. How are you? We are good. We are excited. We're ready to go. Yes, so, happy to be here. So it's been a minute since I've been hearing that short selling is coming to the JSC. I'm sure this is something that investors have been pressuring you about. But first, let's yes. explain what is short selling. And you can take that one, Stacey Ann. Oh, I can take that. Oh, you okay. can go ahead, Andre. Sure. Andre, you can take it. All right. A short sale is effectively selling a security that you don't own. Why would one want to do that? It's, it, it's a hope that the price of a security will fall over time, providing an opportunity to buy back the security at a lower price. So it allows the investors to profit from an expected downward movement in the price of a stock or other security. How would it work? Think about uh, a typical scenario or a real scenario. COVID, let's say February 2020, there's a stock that is trading at 150. You buy stocks all the time and your investment advice given to you and your own macroeconomic view is that the market is going to trend downwards and the prices of the shares will also trail downwards. So if you buy now, in 2022, the price is likely to be down below what you bought it, bought it for. So the option is with short selling in February, 2020, when the stock is high, you sell it, even if you don't own it, you borrow it from a shareholder from a, uh, an investor who holds the stock, sell it now, hold on to that cash. And as the stock price comes down into 2021, 2022, we'll then buy it back at say $89, return the shares plus a fee to the shareholder you borrowed the units from and the difference between the two is your gain. So it effectively allows um, people to leverage the, the market. It also benefits the the shareholder as well, because if you have shares that your grandmother gave you, that she got from her grandmother, and you intend to just hold them, um, benefit from capital gain and benefit from dividends, and you don't intend to do anything else with them, you can lend them out for a fee to somebody who is looking to for, to some, for some short selling assets, um, and you get them returned to you plus a fee for your for your for your services. And that is the short answer to what short selling is. Very interesting. And based on all that you explained, you can understand why Jamaican investors have been eager to get on this train because it's quite popular in more developed markets. So Stacey, yeah. and tell me how NCB Capital Markets 
as a has joined the free what's what's your role in all this so for any short selling transaction you're going to need to ban sell shares or securities and ncb capital markets is at the table because we are a broker dealer and not just a broker dealer we are the largest broker dealer and as of 2021 we would have traded or accounted for over 30 percent of the value on the jamaica stock exchange and so you need a market maker to be able to help you to buy and sell those securities. So we're there from that vantage point as a broker dealer. In addition to that, when you think about the short sale and Kalila, you spoke about earlier getting the market ready. NCB Capital Markets as a broker dealer, but a large broker dealer is also behind the scenes with the Jamaica Stock Exchange collaborating to get the market ready. And the Jamaica Stock Exchange does a very good job in collaborating with the industry to ensure that when it brings something to the market, it is bringing something to the market for which it would have gotten input from the broker community to ensure that from a business standpoint, things are robust. So NCB Capital Markets is there with other brokers working tirelessly behind the scenes with JSE to get this done. Mm. So will NCB be the only broker that facilitates shorting or, or others will be will be doing it as well? No, it will be supported and led by the industry because mm -hmm. it's on the Jamaica Stock Exchange and it will be cultivating an ecosystem. So currently working with the Jamaica Stock Exchange to roll this out and launch this, there are other broker dealers who are at the table too. Okay, understood. So Andre, shorting, short selling, shorting is something that is seen as risky. There is risk involved. As a matter of fact, I just saw a comment from Marvin who said, infinite loss if the price doesn't drop back. So tell me what type of risk is involved in this strategy? Well, certainly there's risk of capital loss as there is if you bought the stock at the high and the market corrected, the same risk of capital loss is there. Um, certainly the your assessment of the market can be incorrect and if you figure in 18 months or nine months or whatever it is that the the price will be at a lower um, um price and it doesn't work out that way then you have to hold your account your 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 position for a little while longer until you at least reach back to equilibrium so the risk is there and as is normally the case we would expect that you would the investor would be seeking the best advice from NCB Capital Markets and all of the other brokers in the market who have the experience to give you all the tools necessary to make good prognostications on what's going to happen. But certainly, um, miss, one of the reasons why we have been so deliberate with this thing is that we have to ensure that the risk mitigants are all in place and that everyone understands the risk. In fact, Kalula, Kalila, we, we, we don't intend, we don't believe that every stock on the market is suitable for this kind of thing because, you know, you have to have a certain amount of liquidity in your asset to be able to um, fill these positions and liquidate these positions. Um, so there will be some criteria. And as Stacey mentioned, we have a working committee, including the brokers, um, who have been testing scenarios and have been working through various aspects of how this thing will work for the sole reason Kalila, of managing the risk as much as possible so uh it's it's it, it is a very deliberate strategy for that reason and we have to be very um circumspect and very um transparent with our investors as we always are to advise them of the level of risk involved and the seminar tomorrow which is conducted by dr howard Horton out of the uk and noted economist risk manager and lecturer um, will include the topic of the risks involved how to benefit and how to mitigate these risks so it really is um we're not presenting it wholly and solely as a money-making opportunity which it is but we have to buttress that with the other side of the equation that we have to be uh, cognizant of the risk and ensure that investors who are doing this have the risk profile a word i know you like to manage this sort of thing ah uh, so when you said earlier that there will be some criteria does this mean that you won't be allowed to to short just any any stock there's only certain stocks that the jsc will allow this for there will be right now we are determining the specific criteria that will qualify a, a, li a listed security to be eligible for short selling there will be some criteria yes so in other words, a stock that trades infrequently once a month or once every five or six months, 
um, is, is a risk because when you're ready to fill a position, you're not sure if the volumes will be available. So you'll be looking more at the stocks that trade very frequently who have a wide shareholder base um, so that you ensure that in case you get into a position where you need to close a position early for whatever reason, because you've made enough money or you have already you see the, 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 this market going the other way, that the possibility exists with doing so. So you kind of mitigate the risk as much as possible. You wanted to add something there, Stacey Ann? So I don't want us to just focus on the benefits of making money. There is a benefit to the wider market. So when we engage in shortlisting, we're going to increase and improve market efficiency. The market efficiency will be improved because price discovery, Andre touched on it, price discovery yes. would ensue. But I want to break that down a little bit for our viewers and help them to appreciate what really is price discovery. So when we talk about price discovery, it is a true representation of what the price should be incorporating all the risks. Now, short selling benefits the market in that it forces the price of a security to now actually incorporate the negative news, bad expectations or something negative. So right now it has the ability to do so, but short selling motivates that even more because an action can be taken. So there is a benefit for the wider market that price discovery will be there. And if price discovery is there, then regular investors, all investors can benefit from actually a truer price. And then there's also the benefit of liquidity. Yes. When we think of a stock that does not properly represent all the information and has a risk to it, that risk can be illustrated in large bid ask spreads. So that's just the difference between the buy price and the sell price. Now, with short selling acting as a motivator to ensure that negative news is properly priced in, then what it does is that it forces it to a truer price. And if something is at a truer price, then the risks are incorporated in the price. And so the bid ask spreads would be lower. So there is a general benefit to the market. Even yes. if you don't take part in the actual short selling activity, you benefit as just being a market participant. Mm. We have quite a few questions coming in from the audience. Let's take some of them. The first one's from Levar, who says, very interesting, but tell me, how do you borrow shares and when, you, and when do you return them to the owner? Sure. So, so I could take that. So as a broker dealer, if you decided that you wanted to short a particular security, you would come into a broker dealer like NCB Capital Markets. You would open the relevant accounts and assuming, of course, that the risk profile is perfect. Uh, when, when I say perfect, I mean perfectly aligned with the strategy that you are embarking on. Once that is done, then you just tell us what it is that you want to borrow. And then you would have to put up collateral because ultimately this is a trading strategy that is based on borrowing you're borrowing a security so if you come in and for argument's sake you wanted shares of ncb fg to borrow then you would put up the necessary collateral needed and then you would get the shares to do the transactions when you do the transactions on the jamaica stock exchange they would be notified or executed as a short selling transactions but the collateral that you put up is placed into an account and then you get the shares in your account to be able to trade. And as a broker dealer, we would execute the transaction on your behalf. Mm. Lucian wants to know, what if everyone is selling on the market? Who will you borrow the shares from? Well, that's the importance of a great market maker. Because as a market maker, that's what we do. We make a market. So as a market maker, we provide liquidity. And we can provide liquidity in various ways. So being able to source and have a wide pool that you can tap into. And also to remember that uh, your own portfolios in terms of broker dealers may have their own portfolios too. And that may also assist in them being able to lend the securities that they're, that that is being sought by the client. So what is important in that is you have a trusted broker, broker and you have a large broker who can actually market make and create a market for you when there is no market. So what's the timeline on, on actually allowing this, Andre? We're, we're trying to get it done by December, but I would say um, the absolute latest will be January. Um, mm -hmm. We're working with, we, we, we actually had a meeting day before yesterday and we're pushing, trying to push forward 
uh, for last quarter of 2022. And uh, we're still sticking to that. But um, because there are some things that are still uh, not necessarily in our immediate control, we're going to be very conservative with it and say by first quarter of 2023. All right. Brian, so following up on that, Brian says, hand in hand with short selling, is allowing the security to be optionable, hopefully soon. Is that also on the cards? That is something that is in the works, yes. Um, that in, in and of itself will have a different set of operating procedures and rules, which we have to solidify and get approved by all of the regulatory authorities first and the and the types of options, et cetera. And again, we have to have the market sensitization for those things as well. So yes, that is um, part of the plan. One of the things that um, happens when you when you are the largest exchange, we have 280,000 um, active accounts. We have 100 securities with 146, 100 stock companies listed with 146 securities with diversity in the industry type and the activity on the market is constant. We always have to be adding new products and services because yes, we're bringing new investors into the market, but we're also bringing sophisticated investors from all over the world into the market. So we really have to continue to reinvent ourselves and stay on the cutting edge. And as a result of that, these products are always in the pipeline, but we, it's not wise to roll out every single one of them at once because we really have to manage the expectations and make sure that we uh when we do it we do it right so there's a long list of things coming i mean you know we started dma direct market access for canada a couple uh, weeks ago where shareholders can investors can through their brokers here buy directly on the canadian exchange that will be expanded shortly we can buy on the u.s exchanges as well um yes so we've been waiting for that update when is shortly yes. Stacey can tell you about that one. <laughs> Thanks, well, Andre. I appreciate it. <laughs> we're working on that one. So we're working on it. I, I can't give you a definite timeline as yet because Kalila, I don't want you to call me out like how oh, you just called out Andre. You know. We're working on it. And yeah, it, will, working on it will be relatively soon. And we're working with all the brokers, Kalila. One other another thing that we're looking at is expanding the types of securities available. Um and the, and the sovereign nation of some of these securities. We have signed a memorandum of understanding with Ghana, and we're exploring possibilities of cross-listing their securities here and some of our securities there. Next week, not next week, week after next, we have a, there's a mission from Nigeria coming to Jamaica, and we expect that our African push will continue there as well, where we're looking at the same sort of thing, moving some, um, uh, looking at some, um, some synergies between our, our exchanges with a view to bringing more securities to our market and hopefully exporting some of our securities to their markets as well so we're doing it in 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 a just slow deliberate process Kalila. i know many of our investors are eager and would love us to move at a faster pace but as you know regulatory and otherwise we have to be making sure that all the i's are dotted and all the t's are crossed so stand by for some more right now there are a couple of brokers uh, marketing, the, um, carrying the service of direct market access, which will expand shortly from just being able to access securities on the Canadian market to the US as well. And we'll continue to build out the same process. Interesting. All right. So have you had a good take up of that uh, Canadian direct market access? People have been using it? Yes, there has there has been significant take up. But a lot of a lot of the there's a lot of inquiries now that are you know people are going through the sensitization process. They're making sure they understand before they commit more than just one or two trades as a test. But we have quite a few trades have come in in that regard, and we expect that as they get more comfortable and our market sensitization um, continues, and more brokers actually come online with it, and they start to push the service to their individual investors and their portfolios, that it will improve. All right, so we have a lot more questions from the viewers. I'm going to take about two, maybe three more, and then you can tell us about the details of the event tomorrow. So David wants to know, is it that one would have to create a margin account with the different brokers for shorting? Do you need a separate account to do it? So based on the developments and how we are currently working out the ecosystem, it is likely but uh, what will definitely be the case is that you have to have a margin account. Now, whether your broker decides to use the existing account 
on their system to be able to do that. But in the ecosystem that we're working on with the Jamaica Stock Exchange, yes, there would be a specific account in terms of that custody account for which you would hold securities that are engaged as the collateral for short selling. And that, of course, would be a process that you would do through your broker. And uh, it's always at the forefront for NCB Capital Markets to make the processes for our clients simple and quick and easy. So even if you have to open another account, I can tell you, we're trying to make it simple for you. All right. So we expect to hear more on that soon. Neil is asking, what are the regulations around short selling? Can a broker borrow my share without permission to short the market? Definitely not. We are probably one of the best and highly regulated within the Caribbean and the standards for the market are pretty high. We would never be able to borrow any securities. It is something that you would have to agree to and it is upon the client's permission that you're able to do that if it is that the client wants to be a lender of security. And this is a pretty tightly regulated framework. The Securities Act, it covers a short selling and with the ecosystem that we're developing, the Jamaica Stock Exchange has developed some very tight rules in terms of protecting the market and protecting the investors. And so you are rest assured, something like that could never happen. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right. So last question before we get to the details of the workshop. This one's com coming from LeVar. With shorting now coming on the market, can we expect some changes to the circuit breaker? Andre? That's a <laughs> good question. We'll answer that uh, when, we, when we conclude our deliberations on that. That has been something that uh, has been asked quite a few times, and it has been raised that the highest level of our risk management teams and that is i can't comment on that further right now but everything is a, that's a consideration as well but just to tell the market that we have heard the concerns and the and and the the, re the requests for further um i'm not i can't say specifically that we will or will not do that yet but it, we have heard and there are under consideration all right let's get to the details of the workshop now because i know the viewers are anxious okay. to hear about it zakar is asking how long will the workshop be and where also tell okay. us who's going to be speaking what's the call just tomorrow. give us all the details tomorrow 2 till 5 30. um the guest presenter will be dr howard horton who i mentioned earlier um he is a noted risk manager economist and lecturer from the University of Edinburgh, I think it is. Um, some of the topics he will he, he will carry be carrying us through um, various elements of the of, of the product and the service, the motivation for short selling, um, the securities lending and borrowing process, the risks involved in short selling, the conditions that make short selling desirable. He will also be doing very important Kalina case studies on for the use of short selling and um the key players in the market um the, the the persons who we believe are best suited for this sort of program are wealth advisors of course market makers experienced traders analysts risk officers asset managers compliance academia venture capital capitalists business investors retail and high net worth investors as well so you can go online even now to the Jamaica Stock Exchange website, eCampus. Um, the registration fee is 20,000. Um, you will get material to use um, 2 till 5.30. And we invite and expect. Uh, right now, I, I, we have the, the, the windows have not closed. Uh, because we're using a, a Zoom platform, we certainly have space for more. Um, no, Zoom, come with your questions, Zoom. come with your questions and come with your pen and pens and pencil and paper to sort of work the examples with Dr. Horton. And we expect that what we're trying to achieve really is to just create the market presence, create the market um, um, sense, um, the, uh, the awareness in the market. Ultimately, some of the benefits, we just wrap up quickly, increase liquidity, spoke about that, price discovery, general increase in market activity increase investor confidence in the market of course and reduction in in potential price volatility re reduction in, in volatility so hope to see some more of the people tomorrow we have a lot of interest coming in 
and it should be a good session. And thank you for the opportunity to further uh, inform the public about the short selling session tomorrow. And yeah, well, there are a lot of things happening tomorrow. <laughs> Andre have a couple AGMs. They have Cygnus Day. So Janet wants to know: Will it be rec oh, wrong comment? Will it be recorded and available to attendees? Yes, it will be. It will be. It will be. Yes, we are also attending some AGMs tomorrow. So the stock exchange team will be split all over the place tomorrow. <laughs> all right. So that will be helpful. Well, where can people sign up? Go to the stock exchange website, jamstockx.com, and you can follow the instructions there. It, I think it is on the, actually on the home page. Um, look for uh, or, or your search short selling, and the course workshop information will come up. All right, so there you go. Just register at jamstockex.com. Go straight to their website and you can register for the course tomorrow. It's from 2 to 5.30. We have an esteemed professor, they, not we, I'm not part of the JSC team. They will have an esteemed professor uh, making the presentation about short selling. You can learn all about it, ask your questions, understand how it works, get your case studies in, take your notes. And if you're unable to attend, live uh, andre says that well they can facilitate you getting the recording after the fact since there's so many other things happening tomorrow and i will definitely be taking advantage of that because i have another commitment for tomorrow but i'm very interested in this especially since my viewers are and i have to learn so that when they ask me i can explain it too so thank Wonderful. you so much thank you andre thank you stacy ann thanks thank Kalina. Very much. Have a awesome have a good night Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. All right, guys, sign up. You already know what to do. Go to jamstockex.com to register for the short selling course tomorrow and, you know, get your study on, get your learn on. And of course, let's get this money. See you later. Wouldn't you like to benefit when stocks go down as well as when stocks go up? Well, to know how to do this, I would suggest that you attend the Jamaica Stock Exchange course, which is going to be given in September. I'm going to be the facilitator for that course. Please don't miss out. You'll learn how you can make money when stocks go down. Institutions can save money as well, because once you understand this issue of price discovery, you'll realize that transactions will be cheaper and price discovery will be there.